In this video we're going to go ahead and configure our LAMP server to work with the PHP malfunction. And I'm running a Ubuntu operating system running the LAMP server. Now to begin we're going to go ahead and go to Applications, Accessories, and then Terminal. And the first command we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to install the PHP pair framework. So I need to install this. So it's going to be sudo apt-get install and it's php dash pair. And then we're going to go ahead and type in the password for a sudo user or a root user. And it should take about a minute here and we'll have this installed. Alright, now that I'm back to my prompt, we're going to go ahead and use pair now to install a few more things. So it's sudo pair install mail. Go ahead and hit enter. This should be a quick installation here. Now I need to set up the SMTP, so this is going to be sudo pair install net underscore and then SMTP. Remember to use the case sensitive uh, letters here. It's going to be the capital N and the capital S, M, T, and P here for this. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And now we're going to go ahead and use pair again. So sudo pair install. And it's going to be capital A U T H underscore capital S capital A capital S capital L. And one more using the pair sudo pair install mail underscore mime. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and use our install the postfix, which is going to be the uh, default mail transfer agent that's used in Ubuntu. So we're going to go ahead and use this command. It's going to be uh, sudo. We need to install it. So it's apt get install, and then it's postfix. And it should take a second here for us to install this. And we're going to have a configure. We're going to have a prompt come up here in a minute, which is going to allow us to configure it. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the right arrow key to select the OK and hit enter. And uh, we're going to make sure that we have the internet site selected. So we're going to just go ahead and hit enter. And the last thing we've got here is our um, mail server name. Now I'm going to go ahead and type in localhost just to be safe. It's going to be running on this computer so we'll just use localhost and hit OK. And it's going to finish configuring the package for me. And now my package is complete. And this